so we have done the enterprise structure for the company and the assigned company to company code now we are going to the financial accounting and financial accounting global settings and company code so here <coughs> you can um, enter a global parameters for the company code So here you can see these are all the existing company code so we'll search for our company code TR03 so this is our company code so here instead you go one by one what needs to be assigned you can assign directly here what are all needed for the company code so now you can say the chart of accounts so chart of accounts usually I use INT no postings are possible without a physical air variant so because since I enter it shows I just this is a warning message so now the physical air variant usually Jan to December or April to March it depends on uh, the company to company so sorry this is a field status and uh, when you see the physical error variant which is this one sorry for that so the physical error variant you can choose what period you want so usually we choose a K4 which is a calendar year with a four special periods then here yeah, the physical year variant I don't use the physical year variant now and I'm going to create from my company a separate physical year variant and a posting period variant so you can you can set this company code is product to when uh, you are going live so until then it should be turned off now I just click on save click OK so the data was saved so this is the basic we have entered here so here global company code if you want to enter the global company code if you have defined you can enter but in our case we don't have any global company code yeah usually every company having the registration number so I would recommend a registration numbers here so I forgot to show some other additional details so now I'm going to show you on the additional details what you can enter so here you can update the address for the company if you want if it is deferred from definition what you have defined here also you can update directly without going to a defined company code so it's here then the additional data where the system shows okay so you can see here details of tax entry tax rate country currency so all these are options relating to the parameter values so these parameter values will be defaulted when if you have any interface uh, from different systems so you can default it here as a default parameter values so go back so now we define a company code global data what we have entered a physical year and chart of accounts so now 
what we are going to do is <coughs> sorry and here we have a business area so you can actually enable whether this company is needed business area a balance sheet or not so this is where you you can define if you need a business area balance sheet accounts for your company code and uh, you can also create authorization object to know that whether this business area financial statements or the data relating to that particular business areas can be shown to a different user so you can control this information using authorization objects uh, for the business area so here is the one can we well, let's go to our company TR is here so this is where I am going to check this box so if I check this box business area financial statements will be shown click OK so go back now we already assigned a uh, physical year now let's go to the document here you can see posting periods so when you go to the posting periods where you can define the posting period variant so the posting period variant I'm going to define what I do I just click here new entries so this is a variant TR3 posting period for TR03 so I just created for my company code click OK so go back back yeah so now you can open the posting periods using this transaction code but before opening where do you assign so we have not assigned our posting period variant to the company code so to do that either you can go to global parameters here or else you can directly do from here so if you go using here it will only show one line where you can assign your posting period variant to the company code so let me go to the our company code which is TR03 so I assign TR03 press OK and click on save enter so go back so what we have done so far we have entered the global parameters one is a physical year and another one is chart of accounts now posting period so the next one is field status variant so the field status variant we need to define so to define the field status variant we can go document line item and controls so here 
so here you can see define field status variant so click on define field status variant so I can assign here also so after assign I will go to the global definitions and see whether it is showing all the information or not will take for a while to process the information it to compile the data okay so here all these are existing field status variant so what I can do I can copy the existing one or create a new one so before copying so I cannot define all these one by one so what I can do is I would like to copy the standard and then I would like to change the field statuses which are relevant for me or if I want a special controls for this field status so to do that just click on the field status and copy now TR03 so this is a field status variant for my company code TR03 so here it the system pop up a message entry 1 of the entries to be copied as dependent entries it means you want to copy only this line or whatever under this field status variant there is uh, all different groups so what I'm going to do I don't want to copy only the entry I want to copy even the dependent entries under this so I click on copy all so there is 41 entries under this so you can see click OK so now if I go into the field status so you can see all these 41 entries so let's say if you want to change uh, any of the field status you can go and make a mandatory or optional or a suppress or a display so this is the field status which will control the line items specific to the accounting okay so we created TR03 and now click Save so now the next step is assign the field status variant to a company code click OK it is taking for a while and maybe okay so now I define the field status variant now I will assign field status variant to your company code so to do that you need to go assign company code to field status variant so go to TR 03 so which is our company code which is TR 03 here I just give it to the tree and click save and again the pop-up will come so we have assigned so now let's see 
we have a global parameters here under company code what will happen here so uh, you can define here or assign here also or else you can assign at each transaction or each level okay so you can see tr03 is assigned here by default and this is also as a so we check the checkbox for business area financial statements and we have a difference option called a negative postings permitted or a defined default value date no forex difference when clearing in local currency usually we check this box because when you are doing any clearing in the local currency there should not be any so these are all the global parameters so where you can define so the next one we are not at come to the controlling and we will cover this topic later go back Sell. Enter. So go back. So now we have defined all the basic variants. Thank you.